But I just want to take this chart from page 13 in his book, Power Tools for Your Health, which is a very well-researched book on PMF. But pages 10 to 15, where he tries to justify high intensity with a 1 over R squared law, I think we need to look at that. So see this chart here? And I'm going to do a separate video on this. But he does not use the Biosavart law to get these numbers. He's using a 1 over R squared law, and he's not even using it correctly. And you can see that because at 0 inches, remember 1 over R squared is the distance away, 1 over 0 squared is infinity. Remember that from math? So how can you get an intensity at 0 inches away? That's just, again, it, it doesn't even work. Secondly, not only is he not using the right equation, but he's not using the right units. He's using inches here in centimeters versus meters. You have to put meters into the equation to get the right result, or your dimensional analysis will be off, and you just end up with n numbers that are gibberish. But just to give you a sense of how wrong his numbers are, you can see these numbers in green here on the far right-hand column. These are the magnetic field strengths of a 100 microtesla field using an 11 centimeter coil, which is what the IMRS uses. And that's a, you know, the Beamer uses a coil about that um, radius as well. Now notice how the, the answers differ. So you go from 99 to 98 to 90 to 83 to 76 to 62. And again, I double check these numbers. These are the, the field strengths you would get using the Biosavart law from an 11 centimeter coil. Now I want to call your attention to this chart in Dr. Pollock's book and look at five inches away. You can see that the answer is 0.5 microtesla. Compared to 62, that's just way, way off. And many of the PMF devices on the market do use larger coils. So for larger coils like the IMRS and Beamer, that number that Dr. Pollock is listing is not just a little off, it's off by 10,000%. The reason I have such a problem with this is that he uses this in his book to justify that low intensity devices won't penetrate all the way through the body, when in fact I've done many dip video demonstrations showing that they do. So this is just bad, bad, bad science and it, it was really one of the motivations for me to do this course because so many high intensity PMF companies and so-called experts are using this bad science to justify high intensity, which I call the really big lie. I'm going to do a whole separate video to really break this down. But just for now, know that you need the Biosavart law to calculate the correct magnetic field intensity.